I'm Melissa Sardelli, and here's a look at the stories getting the most clicks on WPRI.com for Monday, June 7th. There's a new push to preserve Rocky Point. The remnants of the former amusement park were open to the public over the weekend. Right now, the park property is under the jurisdiction of the Federal Small Business Administration. Lawmakers are hoping for public acquisition of the remaining acreage at the former amusement park. The park closed back in the mid-90s and has been vacant ever since. An industrial accident sends a worker to the hospital. It happened at Bradford Soap in West Warwick on Providence Street. Fire officials say a worker was struck by a 1,200-pound soap container when it came off a forklift. The worker was trapped, but co-workers were able to get him free. Both of his legs were injured, and he's been taken to the hospital. And new developments on a story you saw only on Eyewitness News this weekend. A man arrested for a carjacking and police chase in East Providence is being held without bail. Police have identified the suspect as 22-year-old Edward Aiken Rinlola. He's been held without bail on several charges, including robbery and resisting arrest. Officers were investigating an attempted carjacking Saturday night when they say the suspect drove another car, allegedly stolen, right past them. Eyewitness News is covering schools. Parents and students alike are at Warwick's City Council meeting tonight, hoping to convince school officials not to slash school sports. The mayor is calling for $9 million to be cut in funding from the city's schools. The idea to eliminate sports has been floated. The city council still needs to approve proposed budget cuts, and then it will be up to the school committee. And for all of your up-to-the-minute online news, stay with WPRI.com. Thanks for watching.